I'm Matt with LFD Research. Today, we're on a quest to try and get to Mach 4. Now, I don't think this first one's going to do it. What we have here is we got an M855 here. Now, our goal is basically 4,400 feet per second. So that's roughly Mach 4, not entirely, but it's close enough for our purposes today. So, we're gonna start off with this. Now, this is a burner AR, so I don't trust the barrel all that well, and the, I don't trust anything on it. So, we are going to risk this thing today. Do not try this at home. M855, no problem. This is a standard round, it's perfect. We have a magneto speed on this thing, as you can see. We have an optical chronograph down range. So we're just gonna load up one round. All right, we've loaded up one M855, and then after that, we're going to put in the specialty loads I've made. This is a 22 caliber air rifle pellet sitting on top of a charge for a 223 35 grain. So this is for a 35 grain bullet is the loading we're using. This is a 17.4 grain projectile. Do not try this at home, this is stupid. We're gonna fire off one round of M855 here to prove the gun actually works and is mostly on target. All right, we've got the target. We're looking at about 3,037 to 3,062, depending on what you're looking at for the reading. Now for this pellet. This is stupid, this is dangerous. I love every second of it. Because you know what? This is something crazy that maybe somebody's never done before. I'm gonna get my head off over here. Shot not detected by the magneto speed, 3,229 feet per second on the optical. And looking at the bullet hole, it appears to have keyholed. You wanna go check that quick? Yes. And let's see, did the brass eject? No, the brass did not eject. All right, so as it turns out, the shot did not keyhole. It did not eject the round though. Not, eh, there's kind of pressure signs, but nothing super severe. But then again, this is not meant to work. This should never be tried at home. That's why I say do not ever try this at home. We're, that's why we're here. We're here to risk our dun guns and do the stupid, crazy stuff. Because we want to see what happens. Shot two. Thirty-three seventy. All right, I'm going to set the sensitivity higher on the magneto speed. Wow, that one actually ejected a round. All right, we're chambered again for round number three. Surprisingly, these things aren't keyholing. Round number three. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, uh, I, uh, I'm not sure which one to trust. The Magneto supposedly picked it up, but it says it was 4,539 feet per second, <laughs> where the optical is saying 3,343, though we might have just stripped the piece of plastic off it. I don't know. It ejected the round again, though. Well, let's go again. It's not unheard of for it to have possibly stripped the, the round shattering because this is a, well, this is a non-lead projectile, so who knows what's happening. Let's go for one more. All right. We're going to need to adjust the magneto. That one did not pick up. It ejected the round perfectly fine, though. 3,289 feet per second. According to the uh, other chronograph. Looks like we've got little flecks of plastic bouncing off the bayonet. Yeah, so it looks like these are destroying themselves. Wish we had a 70,000 frames per second camera to do this. Yeah. All right, last but not least, shot number five. Let's see what we got. Okay, they're agreeing now, 3,307 feet per second. Yeah. So that's less than you should actually be seeing out of a properly sealed bore. But it did eject all but the first round, which is kind of interesting. Mind you, 
there could be a lot of other things considering this barrel has other issues.